Hello everyone. I am Dr. Shruti Dixit, Associate Professor in Electronics and Communication Department, Sagar Institute of Research and Technology, Bhopal. This college is under the Sage Group. Today, our topic of discussion is serial or desi chaining method, priority or interrupt initiated input output method. This is the topic from the subject computer system organization having code EC50, Unit 3, Semester. Fifth under the RGPV syllabus. Interrupt initiated or uh, this method is also known as serial or decision priority method. As we have seen, uh, this topic is under the uh, heading. Uh, main heading is uh, modes of transfer. There are three modes of transfer from the transmitter to the receiver program input output. Second is interrupt initiated and third is direct memory access. The, uh, in case of program input output, the um, CPU has to be continuously uh, monitor the input output devices and it stays in the loop. And the uh, speed of the processor uh, will be uh, less. That's why it is generally used in uh, small speed computers. To overcome this disadvantage, uh, we will discuss uh, this method interrupt initiated or serial or decision priority method. The decisioning method involves connecting all the devices that can request an interrupt in a serial manner. This configuration is governed by the priority of the devices, input output devices. The device, input output device having the highest priority is placed uh, first followed by the second highest priority device and so on. That's why uh, this method means all the devices are connected in serially. Device with highest, highest priority is placed first, as I have told you, uh, the device that wants the attention or the device, input output device um, having a signal uh, data to send to the CPU send the interrupt request to the CPU. CPU then sends the interrupt acknowledgement signal, which is applied to uh, priority in PI of the first device. If it had requested the attention, it plays its vector address VAD on the bus and it blocked the signal by placing zero in priority out, which is denoted by capital PO. This is the diagram for a decision or serial uh, priority interrupt method. As I have told you, all the devices, input output devices, in this figure, device number one, device number two, device number three, and number of devices will be connected serially. And um, they will send the request for accessing the CPU parallel here. Uh, INT stands for interrupt request. INT SEK stands for interrupt acknowledgement. This is again unidirectional signals. Interrupt. It is uh, coming from the devices to the CPU. And it, interrupt acknowledgement. Uh, this CPU will send the devices one by one. Uh, VAD uh, stands for vector address. Through this vector address, the uh, data will be sent through this data bus. This PI stands for priority input, priority in, or PO stands for priority out. Here, the uh, in this technique, uh, what is happening? All the devices will send its data parallelly, and all the devices are connected in serial. First, in uh, the we will take the particular example. This device number three wants to communicate with the CPU. Then uh, this device three will send the interrupt signal to the CPU. So this interrupt request. Whenever the uh, CPU will get the interrupt request, it will send the interrupt acknowledgement. First, it will send to device one having PI value one but in this 
particular case the device one uh, don't want to communicate with the cpu then the uh, po value will be one and it will send the signal to the next device device 2 here again the po value is the uh, output of device 1 and input to the device 2 hence the pi value will be will become 1 again this device 2 uh, don't want to communicate with the cpu then the value of po will be again 1 this po value 1 will be sent to the next connected device which is serially connected serially which is device number 3 but here in this example this device 3 wants to communicate with the cpu then the value of here in this particular case the value of pi will be 1 and the value of po will be 0 means this device 3 only wants to communicate with the cpu but all these devices will get the interrupt acknowledgement signal if it is capable means if they are sending the data means they wants to communicate with the cpu means they have sent the interrupt request at that uh, instant the value of pi will be 1 and po will be 0 the po is equals to 0 indicates that it blocks the signal and the value of pi will be 0 at this time in case of particular example device 3 pi value is 1 po value is 0 and vector address will be sent through this data bus to the cp here uh, all the devices are arranged according to the priority as i have told you if not if uh, this device particular device don't want to communicate it pass the signal to the next device through po by placing one this process is continued until appropriate device is found the device whose pi is 1 and po is 0 is the device that send the interrupt request signal so this is the advantage of this priority input uh, with respect to the program input output in the next lecture uh, we will see uh, the uh, most important technique which is a direct memory access technique in short it is known as dma controller first we will see the block diagram of dma controller and then we will see the uh, complete block diagram having a dma controller cpu and input output device at memory Thank you so much.